Hello, it's the Wednesday and we are back with another video. What are we doing today? We're continuing on with adverts for political parties. There's more. The oh, yeah. DA just released their adverts. And it's quite shocking. Yeah. It's very, okay. very shocking. Shocking. Yeah, it's very bad. Bad. But let's just check out this video first. Okay. And then you tell me what you think about it. Okay. In this election, for the first time in 30 years, the ANC will lose its majority, but they will do anything to stay in power. Imagine a coalition between the ANC, the violent EFF, and the Zuma faction. Under this coalition of corruption, life will only get worse. This election is about survival. Unite to rescue South Africa. Vote DA. That's it? No, what are your thoughts on that? Well, of course. No, like, of course, what they're saying is expected. Like, it's expected that they're going to have an advert that speaks names of our obviously. But they are adamant on this doomsday situation and that that is probably the worst ever, you know, thing to happen to South Africa, basically. So this ad is very bad for one particular reason. Well, everybody knew, well, everybody who was aware, who knows about the DA knows that they've just been anti-ANC. Yeah. Their whole, that's just been their whole motto since 1994. Yeah. Anti-ANC. So this is nothing new, the yeah. anti-ANC. But the, the really bad thing about this advert in general is mm. burning the South African flag. Mm. Like, there should be no reason, and there should be no reason in any situation where you desecrate the South African flag. Yeah. Just to But like, to they kind flag. of saying that it will be the end of South Africa as you know it. Basically, yes. this, this, this coalition will literally destroy South Africa. You know? Yes, which is wrong, no again. Which is wrong because this is a this is a a, dem a democratic country and let the people choose to vote for who they yeah vote but for. like so now because now because the people are voting for the people that you don't like you can burn mm -hmm. the South African flag and say the country is in shambles or say the no country is but like be... they they kind of saying that you know like this is probably the worst thing that is gonna happen yes it's like, fear mongering yes that's that's kind of what i was trying to say in the beginning is that i get the, the part of them obviously you know making us you know oh we're so scared because this is gonna happen this is the worst case scenario oh we're so afraid what um this is the worst thing that can ever happen to south africa whereas a part of me also feels like you know what you don't see anything wrong with somebody burning the south african flag no, I do see something wrong with it. It is wrong, but then I feel like the reason why they're doing it is just showing that that would be the end of South Africa. Not because they are saying we're doing away with South Africa or like any other sinister sort of intentions behind it. I feel like they're burning it just to say that this will be the end of South Africa, particularly since they are speaking about that. Well, for me, it's it's a big no, a very big no. This this was a huge mess. I don't I don't I don't understand why the DA, why they keep doing these things where it's like, do, do you know what it means to burn the South African flag? Do you know what that means? Well, I get it. It's like a desecration of like something. Yeah, it's the, 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 the one symbol that unites the whole country. I get it. You're burning it. But, because... but they are trying to say that us doing that, us voting for them, will literally be as bad as that. As burning the flag. As doing away with South Africa. I don't understand why you're trying to defend because... You, I'm not defending are it. You letting you, you saying a democratic country voting for the party that they want they want in power is, yeah. going, to, is going to be the end of the country. But so, it's, it's like almost it's like, like... But it's almost like saying if ANC continues to be in power, it will... Uh, South Africa will go to the dogs basically so it's like somebody can take offense to that somebody who 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 is in favor of the ANC you know 
they would be like but you can't say that just because my choice is the NT, you can't speak back so yes it's but not like but why burn the flag situation. you, okay, do you understand the symbolism the symbolism of burning a, a, a country's flag yes you understand what that means i mean i get what it could be and i get what they probably are trying to say i'm just saying like i don't think they meant they intended it to be like that like how are you taking it like oh this is blasphemy like you know it is though i feel like it's such a reach though to make the comparison between the two the old they did not insinuate anything of like raising the old flag and you know and and bringing down the new flag that's what i'm saying like based on what they were saying and what the words are actually saying not just looking at only the action of the burning flag like what they're saying is that if this happens this will be the end of like this rainbow nation possibility itself like Why? if because like i if we actually look at it don't you feel like the the, the those those oh yeah i know people might be mad at me for this but like if you just look at it for a second this these political parties that they particularly mention give off a very um black supremacist type of um, you know vibe and that's what i feel like the other side is feeling you know that is and that's why we're gonna go to its extremes in okay. this this is this is the possible scenario of it going to its extremes in that direction okay. and i'm not saying that that's going to be the case i'm just like trying to play devil's advocate look at it like this, in this. look at it like this if if the aff if the aff came up with an ad and yeah. they burned the flag saying if you vote for the da or the freedom front plus or one of them multi-party yes. thing is, this is going to be the end of south africa do, do you think they'll think that's okay do you think the da would think that's okay if the AFF came out with an well, ad I think burning the flag, saying that if you vote for the the DA or the Freedom Front or any white party, this will be the end of South Africa. I feel, I feel... You think yeah. the DA will think that's okay? If that's the message. Yes. Like, if that's the message, that's what I'm saying, they'd be okay if that's the message. Like, we are taking, having all these emotions on potential hidden messages if that's the message. that were not said. Like, why do you think if, the DA will think that's okay? Because literally, the the AFF is literally saying that if you vote for a white party, it's the end of South Africa. Why do you think that they'll, they'll think that's okay? I mean, don't you think that's kind of be like said like a lot? That no, don't think that's we, racist. Vote, if we vote for DA, people have those like those talks have been floating around of like if we vote for the DA, we're basically voting for the white white people to be in power again. Yeah, that, but nobody's that's under the same. Yeah, but okay, let me just separate myself here from this flag thing. I'm just like not getting it, maybe like everybody else. And that's what I'm saying. Like, in terms of what I'm taking from what they're saying, like, they're just saying that this will be the end. Oh, unless people are taking it as a threat, is, do you think they're taking it as a threat, maybe? Like, no, under no circumstances should you burn the country's flag. I get that. It's just so why are you excusing this? But like they're trying to say they're trying to show that so this okay is an extreme. It's not okay. No. Okay. It's not okay, bottom line. Yeah, yeah it's wrong. Yeah. Why burn the flag to say what you're trying to say? Yeah, I, I hear you. You could have showed other imagery, um more poverty, whatever. Even the EFF showed a similar ad. You could have showed more but poverty, the, more corruption. That's what I'm trying to say is that art. maybe not that please don't get me wrong, I'm not condoning it. But what I'm thinking they try the message they're trying to is just tr showing the seriousness of this. It's almost like our desperation for people to understand that the ends we should not have a Please don't vote for the ANC. That they so they are really desperate for people to understand that this is the worst case scenario. So burn the flag. No. No. But I, all I'm saying is that I, I, if that's what they're saying, I'm hearing what they, you know. Okay, I hear you. But yeah, m more other people are more in their feels about the burning flag. Yeah, um, like, like, like this is not acceptable. Like you'd never see, you'll never see an ad in America where they burn the American flag. 
you'd never see that. But it's being burnt by South Africans. That's the what? thing. This flag, it's not like it's it's, it's being burned by non-South Africans. I'm African. saying you'd never see an that ad would be in more... America where they burn the American flag. I you'd under- never see that. I understand that. Even course. if it's burned by, that doesn't matter. Yeah. It's like, why are you disrespecting because they the country? probably don't have a situation where they need to make that extreme of an example. Oh, they've been making those extreme. It's just that th- these kind of things are not allowed. I in know. Some, in some places, it's an unspoken rule that. In I, some places, I, it's even you can even go to jail for burning the flag. Do you know mm, that? Mm. You can go to jail for burning a country's flag. Yeah. That's well, how serious. That, it is. but. Okay. Pillar, you should know better as as a political party. One, as a political party, that is the sense. Burning issue. burning the flag is wrong on on its own. As a political party, you should know that mm-hmm. you cannot burn the country's flag. Yeah. No matter what you're trying to convey. Yes. You, know, you shouldn't do that. It's like it's it's like doing something. It's like putting an ad up, killing it. Like I'm saying, there's some things you just shouldn't do. It's it's a blasphemy. It's, it's, it's blasphemy. an abomination. It's like someone burning the Bible and making that an ad or something. Yeah. It's blasphemous. Obviously, Christians are going to take offense mm. to that. And as a South African, you should take offense to that. Why are you burning the, my country's flag? Why yeah. don't you? Okay, cool. Your message is, and, and that's been your message. And uh, that's another thing I wanted to say. Uh, just getting off this flag thing. Mm. That's another thing I wanted to say. Would see, this this whole message of being anti-ANC, this is what you've been doing for 30 years. It's not working. It, yeah. it hasn't worked. This These stunts that you keep pulling is turning away people from voting for you because it's like you're not respecting the country as it is like there's no yeah. other there's no other political party that will just to convey a message do something blasphemous just to convey a message there's no other party that will that will feel more well i think it's either they were wanting this reaction because they knew it was going to bring out a big reaction or they generally just did not expect that people were going to be so take touched. offense to it. Yeah. Well, and if you patriotic, now, you should you should take offense to it. But that's the burning. thing. Like, how can you choose who's not patriotic? Like, they they are South Africans. Then it's don't burn the flag. It's their flag. It's but simple. they're saying they are saying that this situation that's being brought upon is as bad as this. So like, if you don't vote for you, you can burn the flag. No, they're not saying don't vote. They're not, they didn't even say that. They didn't say don't vote for them, vote for us or whatever. It's just saying that, look, what you guys are thinking of doing, ha, huh, is bad. So burn the flag. Yeah, for me, it's, I bet it's bad. And not more I can say about this. I was, I was expecting an anti-ANC ad from the DA, but I wasn't expecting them to yeah. literally burn down the flag. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I should probably like. They just yeah. lost. They just lost. They lost a lot of people. You, obviously, we know your message: anti ANC or anti mm-hmm. anybody who's for the ANC. We get it. Nobody cares. But then now yeah. it's like now when you're trying to when you do these extreme things where you have to do blasphemous things or do treasonous things like portraying the burning of the country's flag and all that kind of stuff. You just you just you just you just affirming people's assumptions about you by doing these things. Mm. Do you know other? Do you, do you know the kind of people that burn the South African flag? There's a there's a video floating around where people were burning the South African flag. Mm. Do you know those kind of people who they were? Mm. I'm sure they know who they were. Yeah, and but they I'm sure they didn't think that it was gonna be linked to that. Yeah. What me, do you expect there to happen? For me, this is this is bad for the day. Like I was expecting anti ANC, but I wasn't expecting blasphemy. Mm. Well, they deserve the criticism they get. Mm. And for me, this just this just put me off completely to the DA. So mm. this is a no for me. What are your thoughts on the ad? Yeah, my my um, the ad itself is is not good. It definitely isn't good. It's, and but I will say that maybe it may have been misunderstood a little bit. But then, nonetheless, whether it's misunderstood or not, the act of burning the flag, I believe, is a bad act. Okay, not good for the DA. But yeah, I, I think maybe let's let's cut out the theatrics, let's cut out the drama, and let's just like be really, really honest about what we're trying to say, to people. And I feel like even though they are saying, they're not really saying, and they should just come out with what they're trying to say. Let's not political parties are just boring because it's just like it's it, you're just anti ANC. Like let's let's be original, guys. Like seeing anti ANC from the ear to be honest, I feel like not. Like I'm 
kind of feeling like they're moving past that. I'm really seeing a little bit of that, but I just feel like why can't you just make an ad? They don't have the guts to make an say ad. Stuff. Make an ad showing showing how great your manifesto will be. Just make an ad about your manifesto. What you what you gonna do? And but I feel like show how great they all feel will. like the time has passed now. Of just, like nobody the cares about being anti ANC. We've been seeing this for thirty years from the DA. What's gonna change now? But he's but this is not particularly only anti ANC. It is mainly anti ANC because they are combining with the ANC. Under no circumstances should you think it's okay to burn the flag. And under no circumstances. Mm. And and I'm I'm really sh- I'm pretty sure if 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 any political if any other political party did this, the DA would would, would have called them out on it too. That burning the flag is a no. But I guess it's cool when they do it. Anyway, you guys let us know what you think about this whole situation. Yeah, let us know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And keep watching. Goodbye. We'll check you guys in the next one.